What's up, YouTube? MR2. Everybody's kind of interested in the uh, remote control lawnmower, so I figured I'd go over it a little bit. Make it, if anybody wants to try to make one, it's not really, really that hard. I had to do a little welding. Most of it was rebolted back together using most of the same bolts that came out of it. I didn't have to buy really anything. I used a few scrap pieces here and there. Uh, I did buy a new mower though. I had an old one, but it, it was it was on its last leg, and I figured there was no point in putting an old mower under it. It's going to be using it that much. So I went ahead and got a new one. These things are like $99, so wasn't nothing to it. Just old cheap Briggs and Stratton. Was that a four and a half horse mower? At any rate, it's just bolted on with some uh, flat iron pieces in three positions, of course double bolt that and it won't uh, you know it won't move it don't move at all you'll rip the whole thing apart trying to get it out of there and uh and then like i said all i did was take uh the, when, when, when i took it apart the uh the motors were mounted under this frame and, and the batteries were in the center and all i did was take the motors out i actually had to flip them over and of course, I'll show you about that. It reversed them, but it's no big deal. You can always flip. It's the DC motor, so you flip the reverse the wires and they run the opposite direction. And so, again, I just flipped them around, put them on the outside. I had to put a couple of pieces across it here and here and there at the top and the bottom. To, it's a little tight across there and another piece across the bottom to hold the batteries and of course keep everything together and we'll take a look at the uh, remote control components there's nothing to them this is just a this covers a cake pan I got uh, the kitchen wife well, said she didn't use it so it was brand new a couple of fans came out of uh, I can't even remember what them came out of at any rate, they're just two 12 volt DC fans, computer type fans. So I think they were in a cooling pad for a laptop. And under here is that's the whole the whole thing. There, this is called a uh, a driver. It's a uh, it's pre-programmed to run independent motors. What they call a differential setup. It's it's it's, it's made for the robotics of a of a you know two independent motors to operate like you know zero turn radius and uh, so it's pretty much a plug and play the receiver comes with the uh, with the transmitter here which is you need to go ahead and get you a good one because it, one that you can reverse servos with that way if you get anything backwards you just flip one of these switches and it'll reverse the, the operation here rather than rewiring something on the on the whole thing and this operates just on this one joystick, just like it did, you know, with the uh, with the regular wheelchair control. But you can see all that component stuff right there, you know, computer and everything else, and old joystick control. And it's pretty simple, really. Two power wires in the center. We got one motor on this side, one motor on that side, and uh, pretty simple. Just read the directions. I got this plugged into the elevators and the ailerons of an airplane control, which is, you know, elevators are up and down, you know, make the airplane go up and down. Ailerons make it go left and right. And that's about it. I put a light on there and fans work. And then the main switch over here for the, for the whole thing, you know, to make it dry. Pretty simple. Two 12 volt batteries wired in series, 24 volts. So why not do it really? I need to get an electric start. I could, wish I could have got an electric start mower. It would have been easier. I could have, I could have wired that to the thing too and crank it. But that's like three times more for electric start. You don't need to spend all that crap. But at any rate, it took me about a month to build it. so. There ain't no way in hell I can make a living building something like this. So it takes me so damn long to make things that it's just almost impossible. It would be impossible to make any money at it. Be glad to help anybody out though if they do decide to get into one. I, I, I give you all the advice I can. I made me a chair too to go on it. Just, just put, put me a stand there with some quick release pins. 
and they go in them little latches right there. The uh, the handlebar switch that come with the mower fit right inside that perfectly. So I just put a little old piece of wire over there to hold it down, you know, so it runs. I didn't have to do a whole lot with the with the mower. She fit right in there. Did right. Maybe that helped folks out. Got a 24 volt charger that came with the wheelchair. And it plugs in the back right there, sitting right over there on the table. And so there it is. Face and love. Big ol' heads up.